Greetings, Dave Dickinson here at AstroGuys.com, and I thought I would tell you about an interesting solar eclipse that is occurring on November 3rd, 2013. This is the fifth eclipse of 2013, the second solar eclipse, and this is the only eclipse that has includes totality for a very brief moment. This is going to be a very short duration eclipse, but it's the only one you're going to see to totality in, in 2013. This is what's known as a hybrid solar eclipse, meaning that it's, part, it's annular across part of the track. The moon is too far away to cover the sun, and then it's going to get slightly closer uh, during central eclipse, and for a major duration of the eclipse, it's going to be a very brief total. Uh, great at greatest eclipse right off the coast of Liberia in the Atlantic Ocean maximum duration for totality is a very brief one minute and 39 seconds now the path of this eclipse starts right off South Carolina uh, in the Atlantic a few hundred miles right off the coast unfortunately the US East Coast is going to miss totality and annularity but the East Coast will have all the way up from from uh, Mexico all the way up to uh, the east coast up to the Merit Canadian Maritimes will see a rising partially eclipsed sun so this will, will offer a very interesting photographically interesting eclipse on Sunday morning to watch as the partially eclipsed sun comes up over the ocean now you'll need to take proper precautions wear eclipse glasses use filters and take proper precautions because you won't be able to observe this one unaided but it's going to be interesting to watch it rise out over the Atlantic Ocean I plan to probably be over at uh, Candy Space Center, Cape Canaveral area, shooting that eclipse if it's clear Sunday morning, watching it rise. Now the path of this eclipse goes over the Atlantic. I know there are some flights that are planning to catch it out of Bermuda. Goes off the west coast of Africa, uh, incidentally right in the area where there's been uh, some recent uh, reports of piracy off the coast of Nigeria, so that may complicate some eclipse chasers plans over Central Africa and it's going to be a sunset eclipse over Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia. Now I thought it'd be interesting, as we usually do during these eclipses, to look at some of these stranger circumstances. So I compiled some simulations that I'm going to have in this video running after this brief little talk. We're looking at from the ISS what they're going to see, uh, looking from ESA's Proba 2 spacecraft, what it might see, it observes the sun, JAXA's high node, what it's going to see when it observes the sun. That it would be very interesting to look at the circumstances of this very unusual hybrid eclipse and see what it's going to see. I'm going to write a large post on Universe Today. This video is probably going to be embedded. It's going to include everything about the circumstances of the eclipse, what the Saros is, the history of the Saros, and everything else you could ever imagine wanting to know about this eclipse, including some very ultimate maps we have coming up from Michael Zeiler at Eclipse Maps. So, Enjoy!